I'm Christian from Pixel Your Site and uh, today I'm going to show you how to create a product dynamic catalog product catalog for Facebook dynamic ads. Some people feel intimidated when it, come, when it comes to dynamic ads but as you will see today it's not um, a complex process and I think I'm going to do it in less than five minutes. I'm using um, product catalog feed from Pixel Your Site, it's our plugin. It's uh, very easy to use. That's our website actually. I have the plugin already installed on uh, demo website. So now we are going to start to create the feed. This is the first step. Uh, important mention. This is a feed for WooCommerce. The first step. Name your feed. My ah, feed. Give it a simple name. Select WooCommerce category. I'm only selecting three. Okay. And now the plugin does automatic automated mapping. So um, we are not going to change anything here. But if you want, you can change. You can change ID, for example, stock status. Well, it works with default options. Now this is important, uh, brand. Facebook likes your product to have a brand. If you don't have a brand or um, if some of your products don't have a brand, you can define a global value that will be used in this case. Uh, it can be anything. The name of your website, for example, I will use Pixel Your Site. If you are using a, a brand plugin, it's most well. It's very possible that um, our plugin will identify the correct data, but you have to verify this. We have additional attributes. I'm going to select only one here: uh, product type. You have to remember, product type is actually your WooCommerce category. Another step I forgot to do it. It's not mandatory, but it's better to do it. Select Google Taxonomy. Uh, this is not actually used, but Facebook will give you a warning if you are not having it, if you are not using it. So, uh, well, you have to select something closer to your product. Since this is a demo website, I will select clothing. Well, I think that's fine. That's fine. That's enough, and then generate the feed. Now, you have all your feeds right here, since you only have one feed. Click view, and now copy the URL of your feed. We are going to use it um, later on when we create the product catalog on Facebook. That was the first step, creating a feed for your e-commerce product. Now step two, creating the product catalog. Go to your Facebook business manager page. Remember, you have to use a business account for your um, catalogs. But creating a business account is very simple. You can do it in a few minutes and of course it's free. Look on Google for um, Facebook business manager and uh, follow the process from there. Now, we are going to open product catalogs, add a new product catalog, create, catalog name, create, you can skip this, now this is important. Um, you have to select a pixel to work with your catalog. I only have one. Okay. Okay. Now, we have our catalog. We have... The next step is to add the feed. Next. And I have to paste the feed URL right here. Upload. It will take some time for Facebook to gather all the data. 
As you can see, it took us five minutes. <laughs> five minutes to create um, the first product catalog. Once this is uh, completed, I am going to use it in my Facebook dynamic ads. I used the face, uh, product catalog uh, feed plugin from Pixel Your Site, and the process was very, very easy. Now, okay, we have 20 products. Uh, no errors. If you have if um, you have problems, Facebook will show them right here, and you can check your products. Click on product. If you want to see what data Facebook has for each of your products, click on the product name, and now you can see ID, well in stock, brand, pixel your site. This product doesn't have its own brand, so um, the global value it's used. Category that's. Google Taxonomy actually is not WooCommerce category. Condition new, that's the description. Facebook ID, it's something internal. Product title, uh, price, product type. This is uh, your WooCommerce category. And the link, the link to your product. The, well, that's it. It was very simple. Now you have a product catalog that you can use with Facebook Dynamic Ads.